Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the slow-mo guys back out on the firing range, trying to skip bullets off the surface of this here water. Yeah, if you didn't know that happens, it does. It can be quite dangerous if you're shooting near water, so you've got to be careful because it can take a ricochet and just sort of bounce everywhere, which is uh, quite dangerous. So we've wedged this tank up against the sandbank so that anything that does bounce goes straight into the sand. And uh, what? <laughs> what's it's, this? It's some like sandbags and stuff to sort of protect the tank in case I miss and hit the glass and hopefully we won't go through too many fish tanks. Yeah. Do you remember that time we did uh, the 50 cal with Destin we shot into the pond mm -hmm. and the bullet came back out of the water? Yeah, I remember that. We're going to be using something a lot smaller than that. Because we're using a fish tank, <laughs> a 50 cal wouldn't really be appropriate. So we've got this sort of small 2-2, which will hopefully be able to bounce out in the time before yeah. it gets to the end of the tank. I think a 50 cal landing here would just blow out the front and back of this tank. Before it's even hit the glass. Yeah. <laughs> it would just blow just it out. The pressure. Yeah. Well, I think this will last two goes. I'm, I'm saying one. I'm saying I'm just going to smash it straight away. You think it's just going to go? Tsh. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, I'll frame the Phantom up just in case that happens. All right, perfect. All right, we're using the Phantom TMX 7510. We'll start at 82,000 frames a second with an exposure time of about six microseconds. Should be enough for a nice sharp bullet. This is my prediction, by the way. Either, can I get two options? Yeah. Either I'm gonna miss wildly and it's gonna come in about here and smash through the glass at the back, yep. end of the tank, or I'll get it kind of like here. It'll go underwater a little bit and then kick off about and come out like here. Yeah, I wonder if this tank's long enough. This might be ambitious. This might be ambitious, yeah. I think, pff, maybe I want to change my prediction to one. <laughs> you can't, it's too late. Uh, All right, where's focus? The biggest squirrel I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> monster. All right, eyes and ears on. Loaded. Taking off safe. Oh, I got a ricochet. It worked. Are you serious? Yeah. Did you see it hitting the sand? I did. Oh, wow. It kicks out quite a bit of water, actually. All right, let's have a watch. I wonder where I hit it and how long it takes. We should measure the... the pe Whoa. Whoa, damn. That was Whoa. close. It that was close. Skim, it tumbled. Wow. It skimmed not very far. Not in. far at all. Wow. That's amazing. Look how, look at that angle. That must have been like, it was, well, it's difficult to tell, to be honest. I just had to aim at the front. I didn't want to <laughs> smash the back. Yeah. And uh, it really nearly hit the front of it. So it probably traveled like half the length God. on water. Like you wouldn't want to, you probably wouldn't want to start any later than the halfway point. No, you're right. Wow. Should we get closer up? Yeah. Well done on the, uh, on not shooting the fish tank. Yeah, right? thanks. We need a new tripod that's not gummed up with like eggs and paint. And uh got my nails that one. Okay. Thermite. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh hang on. There's a bullet here. Is that it? Might be the one. It went far. It went far. Alright, so I need a little bit more depth to try and get more in focus, but the sun is behind a lot of clouds, so I'm just gonna pop this very bright LED under the tank, lighting straight up so it should have a should look pretty cool, but it's just going to look a bit odd. It's not, not going to look very natural. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay. Also, if you break the tank on this one, we won't see it. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? Yeah. Go for it. Oh, there she goes. Oh. In. And out. out. Wow. Straight as an arrow. Perfect in the middle. That one didn't tumble out. It just, Boop. I think that angle was so, so flat. Wow. It would just like glanced it. It didn't even flip. I wonder if it's the shape of the bullet that's allowing it to do that. It's almost perfectly shaped for doing it, isn't it? Ooh. That was great. Ooh. That really is amazing. See the rifling coming in? Yeah. Reflection. Ooh. It's so consistent. I wonder how much it slowed it down though. We should measure the speed before and afterwards. Yeah. Oof. It's got to be a significant slowdown. So we got the sun. We've got lights, and I thought, instead of just using a regular 2-2 round, like up until we've do, been doing now, which is like a, just a lead slug, looks like that in the base, we've also got some red tip tracer rounds. They're slightly larger and longer, and that's because they need to incorporate within a little pyrotechnic mixture that's uh, ignited when you fire the round. A little bit front on now. Ready. Might have missed where you were shooting, where you are aiming there. That you did be. 
by miles. You shot so immensely early. Really? Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and avoid doing that. You can see the trace. Oh, sweet. Well, that's good. Oh, wow. You can see the little tracer it makes it so much easier to see, doesn't it? Yeah. Even during the day, it's a pretty good shot to use these. Gives us... I like that the splash in the sand happens before the splash in the water's even finished splashing. Yeah. Wow, it's burning. Gosh. It is really bright. Whoa, look you at that. You can see it just spinning off in the oh, distance. Oh, yeah. Look, you, it leaves behind a trail of burning pyro. Look. Is that because the impact has like not dislodged it a little bit? Well, you can see there's no trail, like, there's no like burning trail to speak of. Is there behind there it? Maybe a be. little bit. I tell you what, we can't tell from this angle just because it's, it's so shallow. Yeah. We should go back to a maybe just a wider straight on with this type of bullet. Mm. I am noticing something that's happening. Uh -huh. Where the bullet is just above the water, it's disturbing it in a quite interesting way. Oh, and is we, it causing like a, oh, wicked. Yeah, and we also want to see the trace around, sort of better exposed, undisturbed. Ready? Yep. So there are little flames. Like burnt propellant coming out the back. It looks like a little miniature rocket, doesn't it? Manages to stay lit underwater by the looks of it. Well, I mean, the water's barely touching it, and because I'm assuming the pyrotechnic element has its own source of oxygen, it doesn't yeah. really matter. Although, has it gone out no, I think it went out. I think when it tumbles, it basically gets flooded with water, and maybe that just dislodges all the propellant. Mm. I've seen it, definitely seen it before when I've been shooting into this water so far. It's been staying lit. So maybe the bounces, the glances are more propellant friendly. I have noticed that it is kicking more water out than the regular ball rounds. Maybe that's because of the way the bullets are weighted. Yeah. That they tumbling more, which is causing more of a yeah. more displacement. Well, why don't we do our mirror shot then with this? Okay. That was a great shot. Well placed, B. Cheers, B. All right, now in order to get an angle from underneath without getting the camera splashed, we are filming off this mirror. How's it look? Murky. A bit murky, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, real murky. It's this dust in this quarry, I think. It just immediately coats everything in a light blanket <laughs> of crap. We might see something there. Yeah. Ready as chuff. Yeah, that's right, B. If we run out of water, I can just towel myself off. Just <laughs> wring it out. Making a crown. Doing something brown. <laughs> that was you earlier, B. Whoa. Oh, it tumbles in there. Look, it like goes backwards. It's the opposite way I was expecting. Yeah, so it like went like propellant down. Yeah. Weird. I guess that's how it hits the water, isn't it? How much, look how much disturbance it makes compared to the size of the bullet. It's mental. Such a transference of energy. Yeah. And just water being completely incompressible. It's just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what would a nine mil do? I think that would do a lot more damage. Should we find out? I think we should find out because on this channel, when stuff goes wrong, it still looks right. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, it looks better. <laughs> Okay, camera's further back because the tank has a high chance of going and this will be a 9mm pistol round. I also haven't got my eye in for the, the target yet. So uh, I don't know where I'm... I'm going to try and aim to hit it about here, but it could be anywhere, okay. to be honest. All right. I've only got like an inch above the surface. It's mainly the tank on this one. All right. Loaded. Made ready. Oh. Safe. It lived. Just lived. But uh, it bounced the bullet. Just clean bounced it. Amazing. Uh, honestly, though, I got showered here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> there are so many times where I just can't contain. <laughs> I couldn't even save that without going. <laughs> All, All right. right. Okay. Uh, what ready? Have you got for me? Yeah, I'm ready. Whoa. What? Oh, just tumbled in the tank. Wow. What the? Plink. Oh, <gasps> what? what? Oh, you shot the inside of a glass aquarium with a pistol and it had slowed down so much it didn't break. Wow. Shook the heck out of it, but you just shot a window with a bullet and it That's didn't break. That's so weird. It must have slowed it down the perfect amount to just bounce off it. it. Bounced off the bottom, it still had enough force, 
that it it was you can basically see it like a, a trail of light like ding, ding, ding. it's like perfect wow i like that the air bubbles are going <laughs> downwards while the bullet is still going downwards it makes it look like we're upside down and like the bubbles are floating it's a strong tank it just turned the bullet it just goes nope now you're going that way it's going the fact quickly. that it's the fact that it's still moving fast enough to cavitate the water it must still be traveling at serious speed that glass is freakish wow i i couldn't have hit it more perfectly either did you see where it entered the, the tank? Right at the back. I gave it as much chance as possible to, to bounce. Maybe it just needs a tighter angle. I'm so surprised it went in. Just didn't bounce. I'm blown away. So let's inspect what happened. If you'd have, if you'd have said, right, any money, where's the bullet gonna end up? I wouldn't have said at the back of the front of the tank here. Yeah, it's just parked at the back there. So the nine mil round displaced more water than my arm is worth because I'm not spilling any extra water out. That is such a good visualization, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. We, right, let's see how much of me the nine mil. <gasps> <gasps> what is it good? <sighs> I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> Look at the bullet, yeah? Regular bullet. Boop. <sighs> That's what the tank did to it. And if we wanted to know the angle on the bullet that it hit the, the window, we, we, have it, it we have it recorded. We could use measurements on the bullet itself. Look, it's like split the FMJ there around the, around the soft lead. That is insanity. There's just what? Barely a dent on the glass, no, if like, anything. There's nothing. There's no, I don't see a single mark. I don't no. feel anything either. There's no... It's just, it's just survived it. Do you want to see how much uh, that little nine mil round in my pocket? Here. This. How much water this displaced. Yeah, and we've got to remember that that won't be entirely accurate because some of the water would have landed back in the tank anyway. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Let's try it, shall we? So I'm going to put my entire arm in. There we go. So basically your entire forearm and halfway up your bicep. This is, this is how we should measure if I start going to the gym, come back and do the same thing. <laughs> and then suddenly I only get this much in. That's a good way to measure some gains. Oh, you've been bulking up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My left arm just goes all the way in. <laughs> it might get to the point where we're just putting the phantom right behind the glass and trusting it. Hey, that's down to you. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh. Yeah, it's as I suspected. It just fully caught it. Fully just contained. So that means that the angle I shot it is too steep to bounce it, but the tank is big enough to withstand it. So there's enough water in there for it to travel through to slow it down before it hits the back. Correct. So to break it, you'd have to shoot it closer to the back. I'd have to shoot it over here. Oh, it's like shedding some of its oh, trail. Oh, weird, yeah. Ooh. It's the same exact thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's too steep. Oh, see how the cavitation is already collapsing there? Yeah. That's much slower than the 9mm. Much smaller and slower. Dunk. Dunk. Yeah, that was much less of an impact. Didn't even bounce that much. Interesting. Wow. Right, so if our predictions are correct, this one will be much less deformed. Yeah. But actually, no, it has deformed. I've just spotted something. There's a flat surface to the bullet. If you look here... It hit on the side. It hit on the side. So we're still going with some decent clip then. Yeah, it was going at some clip, but obviously not as much as the 9mm. And that's deformed the, you know, cupra nickel full metal jacket there. Whereas this one's just the sort of lead internal and it's deformed it slightly and flattened it. Um, sorry if you're watching and all that was out of focus. I can't actually see the screen because it's so bright out here, but hopefully I got some of it. <laughs> Do you want to try again? <laughs> yeah, give me some. And you can see the engaging and the rifling as well. Yeah. Right? Oh. <laughs> well, I love it when we see something we don't expect. And I didn't expect that to happen with the bullet for a start. Didn't expect to see consistently bouncing bullets pretty much all the time. Yeah, and then the one that bumped off there sort of makes sense when you think about the deceleration, but you just don't expect to see it. Like when, after watching it bounce so many times, I was like, there's no way the bullet's in there. No, that must have meant that it hit the glass with such force to deform the bullet, but it didn't break the glass. You know, in like Star Trek where they're like, oh, she's at 98% <laughs> like integrity. I wonder what percentage more power you'd need to smash the glass there, do you know what I mean? Yeah, we probably used up 97% of integrity there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think it was like, oh! Yeah, yeah. It's like when, you, <laughs> when you're playing those games where there's like bridge making and the stress is all, it goes from like green to red. And you're like, oh! It would have been bright red, it'd be like, oh! oh. Um, we clearly watch a lot of content and play a lot of games. All right, Just well. equate everything to that. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. We had a ton of fun making it. We've got a second channel. We've got some merch. That one's pretty old. You can still buy it there. <laughs> And we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.